The face mask manufactured by Kisi University will be reusable and could save thousands of residents from the pain of buying them on a daily basis. Kisi University Vice Chancellor Professor Jonah Kama decried the high cost of face mask in Kisi County, saying it worked against the efforts to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. We are going to give them to the county government of uh, Kisi Nyamira and even uh, other neighboring counties like Migori so that uh, they are given to the health workers and even to the common Kenyans, like particularly the Boda Boda riders and also the, uh, the, uh, the ladies, Mamambogas. Meanwhile, Nyandarwa County government has proposed a budget of 800 million shillings to contain the COVID-19 pandemic. County Finance Executive Mary Mugwanja said that the funds are to put up an ultra-modern 10-bed capacity ICU at JM Memorial Hospital in Olkalao. We are yet to finalize that because there is a mapping that is ongoing at the national government. There are a lot of donor funds that are coming through the main national COVID response committee. So we are actually awaiting to see how much will you be able to get from the national government to enable us to supplement the difference. This SCCOLO County Commissioner Hamad Shambi moved to allay fears that a group of people who had allegedly escaped from quarantine in Mandera County had found their way into Isiolo. Shambi noted that the information that has been doing rounds on social media on the alleged escape was a hoax. And the Rotary International, in conjunction with the government, has moved to the rescue of hundreds of starving families in Naivasha by offering them relief food. Under the program, over 600 families, mainly in informal centers around the town, will receive food items to last them for two weeks. While Homa Bay Women Representative Gladys Wanga, in partnership with the National Government Affirmative Action Fund, has launched an initiative of producing washable face masks to cushion the county residents from the COVID-19 infections. Wanga said they intend to produce 20,000 masks in the next 20 days that will be distributed to residents free of charge. Finally, a doctor in Meru County has donated sanitizers, soaps for hand wash, water tanks, face masks and gloves as a way of preventing infection of the COVID-19. While distributing the preventative equipment, Dr. Shandrak Muiti called on any individual who want to support the community to come out on board. Ben Chumba, reporting for Channel 1 News.